In this video, I will set up the integration between ConnectWise RMM and ConnectWise Access Management. First, from the ConnectWise RMM portal, I will navigate to Settings and click Integrations. Next, I will locate the ConnectWise Access Management integration and click the switch to turn it on. In the Setup window, I will review the terms and conditions and pricing information. Then, I will consent to the agreement to be billed for access management usage and click Save and Proceed. In the next window, I will click Close. Now that I have enabled the access management integration, I now must apply it to my devices by sight. First, I will navigate to Settings and select Policies. Next, I will edit an existing remote access policy. I already have one because of the RMM integration with Screen Connect. Third, I can choose to enable access management for servers, desktops, or both. In this example, I will turn on access management for servers. I will click the access management toggle under Control Access for Servers. From here, I am given more options to configure access management features. The options are split into two sections, Administrative Logon and UAC Elevation. First, I'll take a look at the options for the Administrative Logon feature. The Administrative Logon section controls include the visibility of the Administrative Logon feature, whether to restrict the feature to only show during host connections, whether it's the default credential provider on the login screen, and whether the reason input field is visible. If that is selected, whether the reason input field is required appears. Next, I'll take a look at the options for the UAC elevation feature. The UAC elevation section controls include the visibility of the UAC elevation feature, whether to restrict the feature only to show during host connections, whether it's a default credential provider within UAC dialogs, and whether the reason input field is visible. If that field is selected, whether the reason input field is required also shows. In this example, I want both features to be available even when there isn't a technician connected. I also want the Reason Input field to be visible for both features and to be required. When I am finished, I will click Save. The changes to my policy have been made, and there is no additional need to build a new package. To monitor alerts from Access Management, I can open my Screen Connect instance, or I can receive alerts from integrations with Slack, Teams, or ConnectWise PSA. For more information on access management integrations, see our documentation. That's all. Thanks.